Do we succeed in spite of our challenges or because of them? This one-line question could be answered through the life story of Edmund Hagem, an American financier and philanthropist. Now he has written an autobiography called On the Road Less Traveled, an unlikely journey from the orphanage to the boardroom. Even after hearing his story, I still find it hard to believe that one man could go through so much hardship at such a young age and still have such an optimistic point of view. He was essentially kidnapped by his own father at the age of three, told his mother was dead although she was alive, and he was sent from orphanage to orphanage. He told us about how he would take the subway as a young child to go to sporting events. He would also go to museums and libraries, showing us that learning was always important to him. One of the stops on this amazing journey took him to Roosevelt High School in Yonkers, New York. In our conversation, Ed told us that Roosevelt was a supportive environment. He lived in the Hebrew National Orphan Home, which was just down the road from the school. We took a look at the yearbooks during his time at Roosevelt, and as early as a junior year, Ed stood out. He was a member of the basketball team both junior and senior year. It was interesting to notice that directly above his senior photo is an image of a fortune teller reading a crystal ball. The inscription reads, business will rise and flourish. She should see him now. Ed went on to become a Wall Street executive and chairman of the board of trustees at Rochester University, as well as a philanthropist for many causes. Rather than be discouraged by all the obstacles he encountered, Hagen used them as life lessons. He tells his story with a smile on his face and optimism in his heart. He knew that he could be more than a poverty-stricken boy, so he found his passion, made a goal, and pursued it. Hagem's life is more than a rags to riches tale. It is a beacon of light for those wanting to make more of themselves, those who desire success.